Very good. So let's start from where we left and we take basically another pick on, on how to do the four bar mechanism. Now what I want to do uh, just for convenience is to move the cylinder a little bit out of the way because uh, it blocks the position in which I want to put the next frame. But uh, if you see, I'm going to show you something, clicking on the hand here, move. If I move the cylinder, see, uh, well, in this case it will do it, but um, what I can create sometimes is the movement of the two degrees of freedom at the same time. In fact, this one is also uh, movable. Uh, in this case, it's not a big deal if this one moves, uh, but I want to have this part uh, oriented with respect to the um, X, Y, and Z. So this is going to be pretty quick. Um, we can do a couple of tricks in order to speed up the process. First of all, we can select the bar here and do Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and we have actually another bar. Now, the problem comes out from the fact that everything was selected, so they, it, the um, constraint was also copied, um, but it's not such a big deal. We can select the constraint here and actually delete the constraint um, and we'll see that here chord 15 on ground that is on the ground it's uh, attached to the ground and we don't want that we just want to delete that and we see now we have the constraint that is just attached to the uh, bar. Uh, secondly, we want to create a, another constraint on the base. We select the edge here and double click on the constraint and make sure that the position is right. So this is an X in position zero. And it also has the right orientation, so I assume this is a rotation around the x-axis of 90 degrees. Apply, and no. Ctrl Z to do also this is zero. It's a rotation around the y-axis, 90 degrees. Perfect. Now we can select the constraint, this constraint, the, the frame, the frame you see is uh, already selected but, and then control and click on the other frame and do the same thing we did before. Create a revolute joint from the base to uh, constraint the chord 14 on body 12. We need to join and hit create. And at this point, I created the um, other arm. Now, I can basically do um, the same thing for the uh, base. Well, let me call it basically body six as arm down and body 12 as arm up. So by clicking now I will do uh, something that might save us some time and which is select the base now we can go here 
and the base usually has a certain number of constraint uh, of frames attached to it so in particular we see three so I can select from the connect uh, connection to base base control hit control and then uh, see when I go on chord 3 here the chord gets highlighted on the figure so what I want to do is to get chord 10 and chord 13 so right now what I'm selecting is chord 10 chord 13 and the body and then do Control C, Control V, and I created a new part with the constraints that are already in the position that I want. Um, so what I can do now is to create the constraints, the frame for uh, the two arms and simply select the constraint put it on the surface now for some particular reason let's do it again so that the constr the, constr the frame is on the surface okay that's better and then X Again, I am working in the position, uh, not in the world position, because now everything is referred to the center of mass of the bar. The bar is at an incline, so if I see, if I click on world position, I'll have all sorts of different numbers here. So working on position will give me round numbers. Close and then select the other and put the frame on and position it at zero zero apply now again let's zoom in and try to find the right orientation for these two frames so this frame can be rotated of 90 degrees along Y and the second frame the same apply close so now I need to be careful here because if I uh, do the constraint the way I used to do it before, um, I might end up with the position of the copy of the base here flipped. So the bottom arm will be connected with the top frame here and then we create the revolute joint and then we will take the top uh, bar and the bottom frame of the base and create the revolute joint again now I have the right configuration of the system and another thing that I want to make sure is that these two oh, no let's say that I want to start the simulation I'll see that everything will start to flip around hmm, it's actually working but you see that when I get to okay let's stop it for a second and I'm moving the bar here when I get to the bottom they I have basically a penetration of one bar into the other which I don't want I need to have a certain collision so 
clicking this to go back to the original condition select arm down here and then control arm up right click and then select collide and now when i will start the simulation these two pieces will collide to each other and there you have it the instruction to make the four bar mechanism thank you very much